Hey guys, this episode was made just for you. The bottom line is the microwave in, uh, oven was an invention which revolutionized uh, cooking in many regards and it saved us immense amounts of time and you can make whole meals in microwaves these days and they have different settings to do that on. How does it work? The real question is what things should you be microwaving and what you shouldn't be? Hey guys, Dr. Nene here. I practice as a cardiothoracic, vascular, and general surgeon, and I'm now a health tech innovator who wants to improve lifespans and lifestyles. So stay healthy, stay curious, and keep watching. Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to go over a topic which someone sent a question in on, is microwave cooking safe? And we went and looked at all the data, and the short answer is, it is. But the long answer is even more interesting. Now you ask yourself, why would I be in a kitchen? Well, you already know the answer to that. I've got enough cooking episodes to show you why. And you've tried them all and you probably like those better than my healthcare episodes. But the bottom line is the microwave in, uh, oven was an invention which revolutionized uh, cooking in many regards. And it saved us immense amounts of time in reheating, as well as in some cases, actually primarily cooking. How does it work? Simply put, it converts electrical energy into electromagnetic energy in the frequency of microwaves. And as these microwaves penetrate the food products that they are exposed to, they basically will cause the molecules to vibrate and in so doing they cause heat. Now the interesting part is it's non-ionizing radiation, so it's not like Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Instead, it just causes these things to vibrate. It doesn't change the molecular structure primarily. And so in that sense, they've never been shown to be harmful to uh, the human eye, or for that matter, to microscopic or electro, uh, electron microscopic examination. Um, now, the real question is, what things should you be microwaving and what you shouldn't be. The one thing with microwaves that's interesting is that if you put uh, ingredients in there, they sort of move the water around. And so if you've ever put bread or if you put uh, naan or something like that, it gets very rubbery. So that's not something I would put in a microwave. The second thing is you gotta make sure that you don't put metals in there because with metals, the microwaves actually will heat up and can even spark. And then the third is that you should never put things in plastic containers because the problem with the plastic is it heats up and as you probably know with heating plastic it can leach some of the compounds from the plastic into the food. So that's a no-no. What should you put in microwaves? Uh, either uh, put the food on a paper towel or you can put it in a glass container because glass really is impervious to all of these things and it actually works exceptionally well. So there you have it. You can make whole meals in microwaves these days and they have different settings to do that on. I've used it for eggs, I've used it for all sorts of things. The main thing I use it for is heating up coffee and things like that. But I think you can go even farther than that because it saves you time. And in many senses, because you aren't draining anything or moving anything out, it may actually improve the nutrients rather than frying or boiling where you're tossing out the water or you're frying up something and actually changing all of the molecules primarily. The bottom line, microwaves have been tested. They've been researched extensively and they're safe. Um, the caveat is what vessels to use when you're heating up your food. The last thing to say is that don't underheat your food because the problem is, as you probably noticed, the inside may heat up much more than the outside, but it's sometimes not uniform. And so check your food because underheating uh, certain types of food will not kill all the bacteria if it's not sufficiently heated. And that's about it for microwaves. Don't burn yourself, um, heat up stuff fast and eat it. I don't think there's a health risk at, based on the data that we have uncovered and the research that's been done. And so use it when you need it. There you have it. If you like what we said, hit the like button. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to share this with everyone. And finally, turn on the bell icon so that every time we come up with a new episode, you can enjoy in that as well. And don't forget to leave me some questions down below on what else you want to hear about.